Itonos have a number of unique pest problems. Summer of 2016 was a drought year with many of the common insect pest species showing sharp increase in moth activity. Notice the general size of moths in the 3 to 4 centimeter range. Hornworms are one of the largest moth pests that can cause severe plant stand reduction. The high tunnel pest exclusion system is very well suited to stop these moths along with large sucking insect pests like leaf footed bugs and stink bugs. Since 2014, we have studied the pest exclusion properties of a variety of lock, stick, and monofilament shade cloths. Notice the size of the openings of the two major types of shade cloths. This affects their pest exclusion effectiveness and air movement. We also want to emphasize that pest exclusion netting should be installed when there is no crop inside the high tunnel, and preferably after tilling to disturb soil-borne insects that may leave the area. Let us discuss some field observations from producers who are currently using the HTPE system. Will Maston, a high tunnel producer in southwest Alabama, has numerous netted structures to protect hydroponic lettuce, tomatoes, beans, and herbs. Since he used a fine monofilament shade cloth, this producer integrated beneficial insects in the study. He also had sorghum and sunflower trap crops to deter leaf-footed bugs for a true IPM experience. In a Baldwin County study, there was a significant reduction in insect pests, especially armyworms and leaf-footed bugs that have become perennial pests in the warm and humid Gulf Coast area. Will Maston's testimonial is available on National SARE and Alabama Vegetable IPM websites, which makes a compelling case for a permanent pest exclusion system. In Barber County, Alabama, IPM demonstration was set up at a teaching farm operated by Jewel and Russell Bean. Using a 40% shade cloth with wide openings, there was immediate reduction in the number of cool season insects, like imported cabbage worms, that normally hide inside the tunnels. The fabric also reduced the number of actively footed bugs on okra and tomatoes inside the high tunnel, while the pests were abundant outside on the crop. In Barber County HTPE test, a variety of crops and small fruit plants were grown very successfully by the producer. There was an immediate reduction in the infestation by imported cabbage worm and cabbage loopers on collards, kale, and cabbages. A few leaf-footed bug males were able to crawl through the 40% fabric, but they did not mate or pose a threat to the crop compared to the crop outside. The producer used nematodes for controlling grasshoppers along with clean cultivation to reduce aphids and whiteflies. We observed significant reduction in squash vine borer moths with the 40% fabric. At this and another location in Thomaston, Alabama, we have recorded significant reduction in the number of beet armyworms, tomato fruit worms, and budworms that have moss sizes around four centimeters. As suggested earlier, it is important to install the fabric when there are no plants inside the high tunnel. Keep the shade cloth secure around the end and side walls, especially after entry and exit. Producers have used different methods of installation for a tight seal of the shade cloth under the plastic side wall. Producers in Alabama have used a piece of drip tape over the shade cloth to reduce tear of the fabric. Custom cut fabric from Polytex also has grommets that make it easy to stretch and install the shade cloth. Using metal clamps at the edges is a good idea for preventing any slack in the cloth. The end wall shade cloths are really like a curtain. Producers in Alabama have used different methods to secure the wall. Use of Velcro is always a great way to secure the end wall. Take care not to stretch the fabric too tight when using Velcro, as it may come apart when the fabric contracts at low temperatures. Prefabricated shade cloth from Polytex has grommets that are easy to slip over nails to secure the fabric. Reduce traffic in your high tunnel and always keep the end walls closed to prevent insects from sneaking in. Overall, our laboratory and field test indicated that the monofilament woven fabric made by FarmTech is a great shade cloth material but excludes beneficial insects along with the large pests listed on the slide. In order to reduce an outbreak of aphids, whiteflies, and thrips, use a shade cloth with wide openings such as the Polytex material. Custom cut 40 or 50% fabric with grommets made by Polytex was under $500 for a standard single bay high tunnel. We encourage producers to look around for local suppliers of fabric to cut further cost. 
If producers want to use a fine shade cloth, then remember to utilize commercially available natural enemies or predators like lace wings for release inside the netted hide tunnel. You can also use light pest exclusion fabric like super light insect barrier to prevent small early season pests from getting on the plants. Much of the research-based information contained in this video can also be found in the SARE publications available online. Producers are also encouraged to sign up for the IPM newsletter by visiting www.aces.edu/ipm communicator.